What up, family? Y'all let me know where you're coming in from. What city, what state? If you're outside of the U.S., let me know what country you're in. I'd like to get to know my people when I log online. I see Eric Wright just John. What up, E-Dub? Y'all see the title. I'm going to let a few, few of y'all come in. I know it's the weekend, so uh, I don't expect a whole lot of people to join us, but, you know, I'm going to get this information for whoever that get on tonight and whoever missed this live broadcast will just catch it, I guess, uh, over the next several hours. Who we got in here? I see Montreal, Canada in the building. Fidel, what's up, Fidel? What's up, Raheem? Eli, it's been a minute since I've been on this Facebook Live. Got to get reacclimated. EJ, what up, EJ? John Woodruff, Woodruff, my fault. Uh, Adam Arnold, East St. Louis. Ramon Belton, what up? Myron Futch, Oak Cliff in the building. I'm about to do some business in Oak Cliff, man. Yeah. Oak Cliff, what up? L.A. in the building. What's up, Robert Hopkins? Renzo Davenport. Davenport, D.C. What up, Gary O'Donnell? Port Arthur in the building. Arizona, Tucson, Arizona in the building, Shreveport, Rico, what up? That Rico. Aaron Hampton. God bless you, homie. Birmingham, Alabama. L. Davis Jr. in the building. Indianapolis in here. Abraham Rays. What up? Originally from North Dallas, Texas boy. Razor Daily. What it is. Appreciate you. Darvin Newsom, just seen you. Uh, what it do? East Texas in the building. So I'm going to go on and go in, get, go in on y'all, man. Uh, so I'm doing an anti-Super Bowl party. Not a Super Bowl party. Anti. That means, man, I ain't got no screens. If you come down looking to try to slide in on something, catch any part of the game, you're going to miss it. Now, I can't do nothing about people trying to get on their on their phones and hustle the game, but there will be no game shown at my party, period. I made my mind up when I decided to boycott the NFL. I said I was going to boycott the entire season, and that's what I did. I haven't watched one preseason game, and I haven't watched one playoff game. The season pretty much just kind of flew by. And anybody that's been protesting like I have, or boycotting like I have, I'm sure they would say the same thing. I mean, and I really, I didn't miss it. I really did not miss any football. I'm a football fan, but I didn't miss any of it because, you know, I decided, man, you know, it's sometimes, you know, it's all right to take a stand. And one of the greatest types of stands that you can take it's when you deny yourself something that you enjoy. Some people can't do that. And they can't do it for nothing. They can't do it for five minutes, let alone what? What, ha what has it been? Four or five months? Let's see. Football season starts when? Uh, well, you got September, August. August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, five, six months. Some people can't do it for five minutes. So I even, I mean, I've boycotted all together. Now, some of y'all out there talking about y'all boycotting and y'all was hustling on the side. Y'all talking about y'all. You, my homeboy was like, yeah, Will. Uh, yeah, you know, I pretty much boycotted the whole season too. I, I ain't watch no football except the Saints. <laughs> you may as well have watched all the damn games. If you watch any particular team, 
you may as well just went on and watched the whole damn thing. Because a boycott means just that, man. I mean, none of it. I'm talking about, I turned my back on all of it. I went into a couple of sports bars during the season and the game was on, unbeknownst to me, because I wasn't concerned about the game or what time of day it was. And I wasn't thinking about whether a football game was on or not. But I walked in, the game was on. I sat down, turned my back to the television. All of my food with my back to the TV, man, I was playing no games. Now, after this season is over, me and my fellow boycotters, we will evaluate our position and we'll evaluate uh, the circumstances leading into the next season. And based on whether we see that any uh, changes have been made or any of our demands have been met, then we may boycott another season, then another season, and another. Man, I don't need it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the dude that goes to a store. I'm the dude that goes into one McDonald's and get treated badly and don't go to another McDonald's the rest of my life. Some people can't do that. I can do it. I don't have to just boycott one place. I'll boycott everything affiliated with it. But that's just me. So I'm doing this party. It's called the Anti-Super Bowl Party. It's Sunday, downtown Houston. If you live in the Houston area or you're going to be in the Houston area on Sunday, you can uh, follow that link in the description. It's a link to Eventbrite. You can jump on that link to RSVP so that you can make sure that you can get inside the party because we plan on having a lot of people there. So if you RSVP, then the RSVP is going to guarantee that you, it's going to basically guarantee your interest. If you get on the list, then you know, then in. But if you're not on that list, then chances are, uh, you know, well, you're taking a chance that, you know, you might not be able to get in. You know? But people always look to do different things on Super Bowl. Everybody, everybody is not a football fan. I noticed that a lot of women watch the game on Super Bowl Sunday because they know that's what everybody else is doing. And that's what all the men are doing. So a lot of times women just watch the game, but they really don't want to watch the game. So this is also for those women who want to come out and enjoy themselves, do something on Sunday other than watch football, uh, something they're not paying attention to anyway. They come out, enjoy themselves, listen to some good music, uh, mingle with some good people, uh, eat some good food, complimentary, get some good drinks, uh, and be in a good atmosphere in downtown Houston. I got a real nice spot downtown uh, called the Preston Theater. So click on that link for details. I'm going to put a fly up. Uh, I just decided to actually do this uh, earlier today. I was like, you know what? I need to do an anti-Super Bowl party. So I called some friends and said, man, look, man, I, I, I want to do this, man. You know, and it was like, okay, I'm down. So we put it together. and. My buddy Chewy over at the theater was like, that's a great idea, Willie. I like that. <laughs> I'm serious. That's how he sounded. He said, that's a great idea, Willie. I like that. <laughs> so uh, I put it together, man. We put it together. And it's going down. Oh, food is also going to be catered by Catfish Station. Oh, yeah. Grilled food, got some, got some grilled food for you healthy people like myself. Uh, and, you know, if you like that football food, then we got that too. But uh, it's going down, man. It's a good alternative. It's a good alternative to just going into old nasty bar and watching the game or going to somebody's house that you really don't dig or just sitting at home by yourself and watching the game. 
you know, uh, or just sitting at home by yourself watching a movie or something. It's good to get on out, get into a good atmosphere and mix and mingle with some cool people. Uh, again, the link is in the description if you want to uh, go. If you're in the Houston area, if you're nearby, click on that link and guarantee your entry and get on the list. Uh, also, oh, this is a big one right here, y'all. This is a big one. <laughs> we are having a burn the jersey contest. Bring your jerseys out. Bring your favorite jersey. I'm bringing mine, man. I'm going to let that Cowboys jersey burn. Bring your jerseys out. We having a burn the jersey contest. And whoever, I think we're going to do it like whoever's jersey burned the fastest win. Or, now, we don't know exactly how we're going to do it. I'm not going to say. We might be, it might be whoever's jersey burned the slowest. Got to put that out there because some of y'all might try to cheat and go like dip your uh, jersey in some gasoline or something, some type of flammable uh, uh, fluid, and so that your jersey can burn faster. We're gonna be hip to that kind of stuff. Now, so all of these people, everybody, all these people in Houston that's been boycotting all year, man, y'all come on out. If you know somebody that's been boycotting. It's been boycotting football all season. Send this link to them. Share this video with them and let them know what I got going on. Let them know we having some fellowship on Sunday. So it's going to be a whole lot of people there that's going to be there for that reason. But it's also, like I say, it's going to be a casual thing where a lot of people are going to be coming just because they're looking for something different to do. So something other than just watching the football game, all right? So let me give a few more shots out, and then I'll, I'll move on. Uh, Sandra Lynn watching the Puppy Bowl instead. What is the Puppy Bowl? The hell is that? Got something to do with dogs? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, Jada, Deneen, much respect. Trevor Dorsey, LFL is better. What is LFL? National Football League. L Ladies Football League? No, nah, that mm. L LFL. What does L stand for? If not, okay, European, no. Uh Latin. I don't know. Let me know. Bruce Lee Ironheart. What up? Challenge me then. What you saying? Let me see what that says. Take the same money you would have spent. Damn. I'm trying to go back to your question, man. I can't make it go back. I'm on my computer. Uh, Jason Riley, come on out. Uh, John Clark, right on. Let's see, Facebook user, just say Facebook user, Mel Thomas. All right, you're going to be there in spirit, dog. I understand some of y'all live too far away to make it, so I, you know, y'all be there in spirit. I appreciate y'all just commenting on it. Alicia Nicholson. Uh, well, if you're here, if you're nearby, click the link and RSVP, come on out. Downtown Houston, I want to make sure I had a central location for y'all to come out to. I got, I got connects all over the city. I got friends all over the city that, that own venues and and I got some stuff. I own some stuff around here too, but I don't own no type of venue that I wanted to have a party at. So uh, I reached out. I was like, "What's the most central?" I hit my buddy up, uh, Chewy over at uh, at Preston Theater, and he came on through like a champ. Uh, Hussein, what up? Dan Collins, beautiful idea, appreciate it. Uh, the Brandon says it hurts, especially if they have to get you. Kaepernick, Hank Swift, you gotta have an afro. Uh, 
Layla Chapa, hit me address. Click on that link to get the address. The link is in the description. I mean, the, uh, you know, the description is in the link also. <laughs> so when you click on that link that's in the description, the address is right there, 2201 Preston. Well, it's also, but actually the address is also in, in the uh, description. 2201 Preston Street, yeah, Houston, Texas. Maybe I need to edit that Houston part. Well, I can't do it right now. Uh, Daryl Redden, appreciate you, homie. Alicia Nicholson, Catfish, yeah, for sure. Jason Riley. You perform ball head holes live. I don't know, man. You know, sometimes when I do my own events, it just all depends on how I feel. You know, if I get in there, if I get on one and I feel the energy is there, I grab a mic and I go in. Ain't no telling what, what I'll perform. You know, I'm a true performer. I go with the energy of the crowd. Hell yeah, yeah, bring that uh, Ray Lewis jersey. Uh, let me burn it. I'll burn that for you. Cornelius. What up, Cornelius? No, Cornelius ain't going to skip the game. Fire department on deck. Yeah, what up? That's good. It's all good. <laughs> we, need, we need people at the fire department. Make sure we don't get shut down. Mia Billingsley. Hit show and throw. Love you, the Philly Eagles is playing, so I got to duck out the boycott. Duck out the boycott? Did you boycott the rest? Of, now, you ain't boycott because you say Philly been winning, so you watching the game. I'm telling you, man, like once I decide to do something, if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So for me, it didn't matter if – Houston would have went 16 and 0 in the regular season and won all their playoff games. I would not have watched a single game. Period. I would have, I would have continued to not watch any games. Period. That's just the way I'm built, man. Like once I say I'm gonna do something, it's done. You you can man, you can put you can put everything on it. It's done. If I say I'm not gonna do it, you can put everything on it. It's done. I don't mind sacrificing my entertainment for a greater cause. You know, I don't mind sacrificing stuff. Like one of the hardest things to do is for people to sacrifice something they enjoy. That's hard to do. But for a greater cause, I ain't got no problem. Some people wouldn't sacrifice nothing, man. Some people ain't gonna sacrifice nothing. They just not built like that. But me, I, I, I'll do it for a greater cause. I think this was a great cause. I think we put the NFL on notice. The NFL lost a whole lot of money. They lost a whole lot of money this season. A whole lot of the viewership is way down. They lost a lot of money in memorabilia. They lost a lot of money in viewership. A lot, millions and millions, hundreds of millions. So, don't think that these boycott wasn't effective. Don't don't listen to nobody who, who and let let anybody tell you different. Yeah, there is power in numbers. Yeah, anybody anybody wear anti-Trump uh, jersey, we're gonna do something special for you. I don't know what it is yet, but trust me, you're gonna show we're gonna show you some extra love. If you come down with an anti-Trump uh, jersey, I don't give a damn. It ain't got to be a jersey. It could be a shirt, a cap, a sock, a glove, a bat, a baseball bat, a tie, a car, a sign, anything, a, whatever. Just anything with anti-Trump, man, you're going to get shown some special love. We're going to be with you all the way. 
The link is in the description. If y'all can't see it, if y'all can't see the, the, the link, let me know, but y'all should be able to see that link. It's in the description. If not, let me let me just, I'm just gonna click on this link. Not click on it, but I'm just gonna copy it right quick and shoot out a, shoot it in the comment section. So I just I just sent it out uh into the comment section, the link. Uh for the details to come to the party. Again, if you just join it, who is this? Uh, Patrick Hancock, thank you for the real talk. You do ATX in the house. Yeah, what up? Okay, so if you just join it, I am doing an anti Super Bowl party. Spread the word, share this video if you will. I'm doing an anti Super Bowl party. Anti. That means I know I am not having any games on no big screens. I ain't gonna be no TVs in there with the game on. None of that. This is strictly anti football. We gonna be there having fun. You gonna have music. I got a rooftop. D. I got. A, I'm gonna have a DJ on top of the roof. I'm going to have a rooftop DJ, like not on top of a patio, on top of the roof. I'm going to have a rooftop DJ, live entertainment, uh, complimentary food, we'll have drinks, um, great people, great atmosphere. Yeah, I'm going to have some stunners in there, fellas. Believe that. Believe that. I don't know if y'all ever seen me rock before, but you're going to see when you come to that party on Sunday. You'll see. <laughs> uh, Topeka, Kansas is in the house. Let's see. Jimmy Young. What up? Dwayne Kelly. What it do? Straight up, Monique Hill. Yeah, and for and for anybody that want to come to the party, that pull your phones out and and try to watch the game, any part of that game. Y'all ever played a game called Spun Do? Where you holding something, somebody knock it out your hand? That's what's gonna happen. We don't want to see no part of the game. We ain't trying to see none of that. So if you try to sneak and watch the game, you, you got to go in the bathroom, man. You know, go go to your car. Go outside, you know, get in a little corner or something. We don't want to see no part of the game. We ain't trying to see one football helmet. We ain't trying to see a jersey. We ain't trying to see no part of the stadium, none of that. We going to be we going to be dancing the night away. We going to be Eating and drinking and mingling, socializing. It's the anti Super Bowl party Sunday, downtown Houston. Start 4 p.m. 4 p.m. sharp. We're going to start downtown Houston at Preston Theater. The link is in the description. 2201 Preston Street. Jimmy Bay say hi, face and, uh, and uh, Wick doing, Bushwick doing. All good. Already. Tommy Turner say, I'm, I'm built the same way. I can't watch a snap. It's about the greater good. You dig? Yeah, some people can't see that great a good thing, man. They see just for them. They they think about like what what it is that makes that works for them. Period. Just them. They good. You know. See, that's the thing about you know this the way the police operate, man. 
you know, why people were boycotting in the first place, police brutality, misconduct. I'm going to tell you something. I really don't have any issues directly, personally, with the police. They don't really bother me. First of all, I know how to deal with them. Uh, but more than that, you know when they pull you over, if I'm driving, they can see who you are when they look you up. They see Willie D, you know, they see Willie Dennis, AKA Willie D, entertainer, rapper, ghetto boy, whoop. they know I'm somebody. So they know they gotta deal with me. They know it ain't gonna be something that gonna get swept under the, under the rug if they try to handle me. So that's a little different. Uh, but it's also, you know, I carry myself in a certain kind of way too. And I don't put myself in certain positions. I try to avoid them by any means necessary. I don't want no contact with them whatsoever. Anything happened around my house, I saw them. I don't call them for nothing because they looking to bring trouble my way. You know, the community that I live in, I guess it's, it's a little different because I got, they know who I am. It's, 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 it's different. So for me, it's not just about me. It's about all the people who don't have the access and options that I have. You know, people who don't live in a gated community, who don't have security at the gates. You know, you know it's for the people who you know, don't have the economic resources, you know, and the connections. You know, it's even my brothers, my, 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 my cousins, you know, my, my family, my friends who still, you know, trying to get up out of that hole. You know, all of the people that I don't even know, all across the country, millions of people I don't know, who got to deal with these people just because of the environment that they're in. You know, it's about that for me, man. So some people don't give a damn about that, though. You know, some people, for some people, man, as long as they're good and they think their family is good or, you know, their immediate family, because some of them don't give a damn about what happened to their cousin, their little nephew, uh, whatever. What, and they don't give a damn, man. Some people like, man, as long as it don't bother me. Some of them don't give a damn if, it, if, if something happened to their own children. It's like, man, as long as I'm good, fuck everybody else. And I'm just not cut that way. That shit bother me, man, when I see people taking advantage of anybody. It just bothers me. So that's why I be on their asses. That's why I'm not going to let up. That's why I put myself in the line of fire. You know? I can't. I can't accept it, man. I don't sleep good at night when I when I know people being done wrong. I don't, that don't sit well with me. So I've already resolved for the rest of my life, I'm going to be on their asses. I ain't going to slack up. I don't give a damn how much notoriety I get, how many zeros that I put in the bank, how much influence, how many connect. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stop riding on their asses because I know they're not gonna stop riding on my people. So that's what it is. Man, I appreciate y'all for joining me again. If y'all are in the Houston area or you're nearby on Sunday, I'm throwing an anti-Super Bowl party. So that means no Super Bowl. All party, fun, dancing, eating, drinking, co-mingling. Uh, if you, you want to come, you want to make sure that you can get in the door, go to Eventbrite and click on that link. Well, click on, go, to, go into my description right here and click on the link to Eventbrite. Or you can just look up Anti-Super Bowl Party. You'll see it there. And the address is anti-superbowlparty.eventbrite.com.
Bright is spelled B-R-I-T-E. There it is, man. I appreciate y'all for, uh, for joining me tonight. Y'all be safe out there. No more talk.